All right, so here's how we build pilot profiles and we set up the various features in the Gen 7 aircraft. We start by coming down and we select the utilities button. Once on utilities, the bottom, the, the center, is crew pro zero, profile. Zero, so I'm going to build myself a profile. So okay. I'm going to oh, add profile. I'm going to type something that recognizes myself. So there's my nickname, Gus. I've built it, but it's not active right now. You notice it says the active profile it still says Cirrus default. Okay. So I'm going to select my name, and I have an activate button. And my profile is now the active profile. So anything I change uh, is going to memorize it to my Golf. personal in, uh, profile. So the first thing I'm going to start with... Pick up IFR to India six, seven. The first thing I'm going to start with is how I set up my and main three, navigation one, one, map. Three, Golf, squawk, four, zero, four, so five. Select, I hit map selection, and the next screen down it okay, says four, map zero, settings. Four, five for, uh, I am a track up uh, type of go. person for tactical decision making, and that's about 50 miles or so out in front of me. Beyond that, I like north up for strategic decision making. So the orientation of the map is currently set to heading up. I'm going to select track and up. And the 3113 golf, you're cleared to Bravo uniform. And as uniform, I work through the various buttons, you're going to notice. 4, 000, this. South, dude. I that I have a north up uh, option we are at selected at 500 miles, to, uh, and that is based on the compass rows uh, um, scale. So I'm going to move uh, that down to maintain 4,000. Did you want to fly your flight plan, or did you want to just go 75 direct? miles? Uh, we're going to fly the flight plan. Um, I have to go around the class. Yeah, actually, looks like uh, 100 miles. Here. Okay, it's about, uh, one, it's about what off. I like. You can proceed direct and you can obviously go back uh, and change Bravo, these Tango, as you massage how the displays work for, uh, uh, for you. Copy. Thank you. Track vector, which is the blue line off the nose of the airplane. I personally like knowing where I'm going to be in about five minutes. Gavin 2 with Echo. All right, we are back up and running, and we are talking about the ranges. All right, we're talking about traffic settings. We're just going to do a demonstration of what happens with the symbol range. So the current scale on the MFD is 40 miles, and I'm just set, selecting something below 40. And you notice how my traffic just disappeared. Okay. So I like seeing a lot of information. So I normally set my traffic out to somewhere around 500 miles. The labels are the altitudes. And Remember I had that set Zulu, contact at 100 on miles. Okay. And working our okay. way down from the top to the bottom, terrain it is on. We're going to see it, and the terrain scale is not going to be displayed if terrain ever came on. Graphical METAR is the little blue and green flags on there. I personally normally set mine to about 100 miles because it just, as you, if you zoom out, there just gets to be too many of those bad boys. So essentially, wherever I rotate to north up, that's where I take away the graphical METARs. Okay. Next rad. Composite reflectivity. I do not use animation. Because right? okay. I like seeing what I have right now to deal with, not stuff that's moving. I do like the storm cell movement. Those are the little uh, squares on top of, heavy, uh, of a storm yeah, with, a, with an arrow yeah, showing you the, the distance it's moving. Data link lightning? Heck yeah. TFRs, 1,000 miles? You bet. If you wanted to change your weather source, currently we're getting our weather through Sirius XM. If I wanted to get it off of ADS-B, I'd select FISB, Flight Information System Broadcast. It's the other data link that exists. So weather fidelity, XM weather is a much higher fidelity than the weather that's being pumped over ADS-B. Very good. All right, the inset window. I'm a big fan of the inset window when I'm climbing because you notice right now, if we could climb a little higher, we would have just this nice, awesome tailwind. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're staying low today because our airplane is brand new and we're still breaking the engine in. Yeah. So we need, we're keeping the power at a nice high power setting uh, to give us the best break in possible. Denver, now, I do like the boundary, that's a little, that little white thing, that's when I have the inset window, and I have the boundary as far out as I can possibly go, and I set my track vector to the same exact length. I'm not, I'm not tracking boundary. 
Thank you. See the little white Thank highlighting you. around the pink line? Yeah. That's your track boundary that it's using to, to figure out what it's displaying and for the winds. Okay, I got you. Okay. All right, aviation, low altitude airways. I like them on when I'm on a small map. Airspaces, I like seeing as much as I possibly can. Restricted, MOAs, other is TFR. Okay. We care about those a lot. Oh, one thing we didn't talk about, smart airspace. Smart airspace, it'll change whether it's a thin color or a highlighted Remember color three, one, one, with three, respect to the altitude India of your approach, airplane one, three, four, versus the altitude of the airspace. Okay. 3485 for a right. result. Good day. Point obstacles, wire obstacles, point obstacles are set. I personally like about 10 miles. Smart obstacles, yes. Other, wind vector, fuel range, we've already done everything on other. So that just set up my personal likes for my MFD map. I'm going to change, all right, the programmable fields at the top of the MFD. And where we do that is under setup, avionic settings, where it says MFD fields. I don't like having information displayed twice in the all right, simultaneously. So last but not least, I do have fuel on board because I like having my fuel on board right next to the fuel over destination. Okay. I don't have to eye search when I'm in turbulence. All right. I'm a Zulu type of guy. If you ever do a software update in your airplane, it will default to an alphabetical keyboard. Ah, okay. All right. Now, it does have the feature like where you could zig your finger and write a word. Ah. It does work pretty cool. But we all kind of like the QWERTY keyboard. So if, if you look there and you go, my keyboard screwed up, this is how we fix it. All right, ESP is turned on. We like hard and soft. I'm a 2,000 foot runway guy. Units. This is what's going to generate cast messages. Okay. Right? So I basically like having everything selected that's going to really get me into trouble. Okay. We'll see your class probably at the top, Charlie. Yep, so Bravo, restricted airspace, yep. Charlie, MOAs, and again, other is TFRs. Okay, good. Female voice, comm change. That's how we set up a pilot profile. Awesome. Very now, good. there's one other thing for us to set up is we're gonna come here and we are going to set up the PFD settings. Uh, again, I love using the GTC. It keeps me from risking my fingertip uh, touching. Okay. So PFD settings. Pathways is turned off. Yay, everything else is turned on. If you wanna change your wind option, Option one and option two, it graphically shows you what you're going to get. So my PFD settings are all set up. Map setting is for the inset. All right, so if we had our traffic map turned off and you wanted to turn on the inset map in the background. Traffic, next red. So when you have your inset set up to the map, yep. the nice thing is you've got the hotkey right there for traffic map or right here. Okay. So if you had if you had a failure of the PFD or the MFD, 
you can very quickly just touch that button and bring up a map. Okay. So it's preset. And with that, I pretty much have all of my map settings and display settings done. Let's go check out So there's two ways to change your XM radio station. Okay. One, you can go pilot music. That's going to pull it up. Okay. The other way is you can come to your GTC one. Hit services, music. That's the other way how you can change Period. your various frequencies. And you notice I try to be very disciplined with my use of GTC-1. When I'm done with it, I hit the home button. So I'm sitting on home. Okay. Wow, now the heat. Hey, so go back to the original pilot setup when you started doing the profile, because the, the other video got cut off and the very first part of it uh, messed up. So if you want to set up a new pilot profile. Okay. Well, we're going to set up mine eventually, so. All right, so uh, let's. We're going we, to copy yours and then modify mine slightly. Yeah, let's so. That. All right, so let's talk about taking a pilot profile that's quote close to the way you like it. So we come down to utilities again and we select crew profile. Yes. All right, because we're currently under Gus. Yes. So we're going to go add profile. Okay. Anthony. Okay. Now, Anthony is going to activate Anthony's done. So it's the same as yours, you just set up. Very good. Yep. Perfect. Or I could go like this and I could go copy. And it's going to say whose name. All right. Sounds good. Utilities. Let's just, let's just crew speak. profile. And we'll find so out. I'm, I'm active now. Just go through the, looks like the fuels change up correctly. It looks like the ranges are yep. switching correctly. Good. And then I can modify mine a little bit if I decide to do something different. Perfect. 